big mark. Here we go. Pinhead minnow to the dome. Oh. It's a nice one. Oh, this is a freaking hawk! <laughs> freaking juice hog. It's late. It's getting late. Our current time check is 4.30 in the afternoon. And I'm gathered today with two buddies, one new and one old. Uh, and we're after one thing and one thing only. That's catching big crappies. So uh, we're not gonna talk too much. This is basically just a fishing mission. We're going into this kind of an evening bite. And um, this isn't our bite. This is our buddy Abe's bite. So I'm gonna let him talk about it really quick. So yeah, I'm excited. The, sun, the sun's probably gonna set here in like, I don't know, 15 minutes. I don't know what the light will be like after that, but like I said before, it's time to catch crappies. The man, the myth, the legend, Abe. Is it Abe Brown? Abe Rin Brown, but okay. everyone calls me Abe. Okay, so talk to me kind of about this bite. Talk to me kind of about the water in this area, because you kind of grew up out here. The bite out here is a little different than last year, but last year we were catching a lot of 14s, 15s, and wow. almost 16s. So where, where are we set up tonight? Are we set up in the basin or more on a break line? Like or a, more by the point? Weed line, point area. Okay. We're set up out there and then hopefully we can go maybe go deeper as later as it gets, but ho hopefully right around dark we start getting into some big ones. Abe said this has been the ticket. This little jointed pinhead pro with a little minnow on it. I like that. That's crappie candy. Well, Abe. Thank you for taking us out. Yep. I'll try to run the camera as much as I can, but if not, let's just put our head down and, and bang on. Catch some fish. Yeah. Earlier, we basically just kind of grid drilled this all out, and we're just going to be slow. We're just going to kind of walk around all these holes and hole hop them really slow and methodical. I might even take my ice cleats off just because it's pretty loud out here, and we only have, what would you say? Four inches. Four inches of ice? Yeah, it's not too much. Brent's just popping around behind me. You've seen him on the channel a million times before. He's one of my best pals. Uncle Rico, Brent Lopez, talk to me about ice fishing. This is this is your first time out, eh? First time of the year. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can break in the the fresh season with a couple giants tonight. Uh, probably stay out here a little after dark. Um, try and catch a true true Minnesota giant. And that's the name of the game. We're not harvesting tonight. We're just we're fun fishing and going for old big. A little little gentleman's fishing trip, and hopefully we can catch a stupid big one. All right, let's get it on. Oh, there's another one. These two go really good. Same, same. I said I'd come out the hole, the big part of this mouth is stuck in my hat. It's a nice one. Jeez. Yeah, dude, you should ice camp out here. Try fishing all night. Yeah, I know I want to. Like, just see if something crazy rolls in it, even at late into the evening. And then maybe put you, dude, you could put a couple tip ups in shallow for some walleyes. Oh, there we go. Marking. Eat it. There we go. Fish on. Oh, there's a couple more down there. A nice little dude. There's a couple more down there though. I'm gonna keep him on the ice just for a second because he has friends. I don't want him to tell his friends yet. Come on. Oh, eat it. There we go. Oh, better fish. Definitely better fish. Stay on there, buddy. Nice crappie. <laughs> Hog. You have more buddies? Oh, I don't know how you guys can see that, but it's a freaking hog. <laughs> Let these two go really quick. Boom, boom. And I gotta grab that other lithium box. 
there's one. Oh, they're down there right now. How's it feel? It's decent. Uh huh. This is just big. I got one down there. Come on. That's what um, encouraged me to go out and try to find bigger ones. Here we go. They are choking the pinhead. Beautiful. All right. From Abe's recommendation, starting today with just a tiny white little pinhead. Just got it paired with a noodle rod. I might put a little meat on it to start, but if it seems like they're really active, then I'll probably switch over to no bait or potentially some plastics. It's like the witching hour right now. The sun is just setting. And it depends, lake to lake. Some lakes you can catch the crappies all day long and they're biting all day long. In other lakes it seems like it's more of an evening bite or a night bite. I love evening sunset bites. The wind usually lays down. And it's just that eerie time of night where Feels like the giants come out to play. Oh, I just missed him. Shoot, that's a nice mark. Darn, that was a nice mark. Oh, do it, do it again. There we go. Thwap. <laughs> nice, dude. It feels good. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Freaking hog. Beautiful. Oh man. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking gorgeous. Jeez. I'll bring the light up here. Oh my gosh. There's smoke in the freaking pinhead. You get him right back. See you, buddy. <laughs> Abe, they're coming out to play. Things are getting greasy. Rello, you got to get over here. Yeah. Just post up in any hole close to here. Oh, yeah. Oh, double. Eat it. Whack. Now they're getting spiced up. Little one, I just caught a nice one a second ago. 13 on the net. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Are you happy? I mean, like you got that ice fishing happiness? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. It is good to see multiple sizes in here, different year classes. It just means the fishery's healthy, you know? They're reproducing and... Well, like, I don't know, seven years ago, this lake froze out at one point. Really? Yeah. And then one summer there was no fish in it, and then three years later it was like this. Really? Yeah, it was weird. I'm hoping one of us hooks into an absolute giant. He's hot. Eat it. There we go. Fish on. Feels pretty good. Get up here, buddy. Oh, it feels good. It feels big. 
That's a nice one. <laughs> Holy freaking balls. That's a, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Kind of limited on lights tonight. I just packed light, so I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's, that's a freaking biggie. Let's go. I'm gonna steal this from you. Jeez. Right at 13, but just tall and big. Sometimes I don't want to let them go. I just want to look at them. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That was a freaking nice fish, dude. <laughs> Thirteen on the nuts. Right. <laughs> Definitely not a bad one. Yeah, bring him back up. Out here, oh. out here grinding. A little night bite action. Switch it up to a little hair jig and finesse her all the way up to the top of the ice. Bye, buddy. Is that not just? This is fun. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. Abe, talk to us. Words of wisdom. It can be about anything. It can be about fishing, life. Women, waterfalling. He has a little different approach. He's using the pinhead with a minnow head, and I like that. Sometimes it's a tungsten jig with a full minnow on it. Really? Yeah. The the one I found out that works the best is the... Oh. Okay. <laughs> a little no, no look. Yeah, I think that is a good one. Pinhead to the freaking dome. Oh, come on! Look at that bad boy. Jeez. So good. <laughs> nice job, Abe. I like want to hang out and talk with Abe for like three seconds because I know there's marks down by my hole. He's just catching them no looking. Dude, that was a bomb, Abe. Here we go, fish on. Nice crop. He was hungry. There we go, fish on. Nice fish. When they want the freaking pinhead, they want the pinhead. Seems like sometimes you can even downsize and go to a small jig and they won't eat it. But if you get that right cadence down, sometimes the marches fly up and whack. And they eat it so deep. It's like you could never miss a hook set if they're eating it right. Beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> I believe it, dude. Them giants. And then when they came, when they came to the hole, it was a lot of emotions. Big mark. Here we go. Pinhead minnow to the dome. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, this is a freaking hog. <laughs> it's a freaking juice hog. Dang. That is a freaking gorgeous fish. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big slabberooski, brother. <laughs> beauty, absolute beauty. Hogs. Hogs. That's a bagging. Hogs. Bye, buddy. Bye, bye. I kind of had two goals for this evening's outing. Uh, one, catch one over 13. Check that one off. That was good. Uh, and two was to not fall on my rear end at all. Because <laughs> if you notice, it's about glare ice everywhere. So, uh, yeah. Both of my goals were accomplished. And the boys caught some big ones. And it was a good uh, first outing of the year. Absolutely freaking blast. All right, this was kind of my one-two punch tonight. Just this tiny little pinhead minnow, all white, it glows green. That's what Abe's been catching on out here too. He's been catching on the normal pinhead minnow and then the jointed one. Same deal, white. And then if the fish were getting really finicky, 
just a white drop jig but that glows green too so <laughs> crazy i'm gonna go talk to abe and rello but i think we're gonna pack up and get out of here we um we came we saw we conquered and, they, and you told me earlier what does everybody call you Bassmaster or abe, or abe. <laughs> he's like yeah you can just call me abe or Bassmaster. <laughs> talk to the folks anybody you want to shout out anybody you want to say hi to um remy goodwin okay and my brother caleb cool Abram, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for bringing us out here. This will not be the last time we fish together. I guess there's some bass in this area too, this area of Minnesota. So oh, yeah. I might have to come over here and sneak around and fish with Abram then, so. No one fell on their butt like Brent said. Abram caught a bunch of fish. Brent caught a bunch of fish. I caught a bunch of fish. I had the hottest hole, like we were saying earlier, I have the hottest hole here. And um, I can't thank these boys enough. Early ice is here, slamming crappies in the evening. I guess there's nothing left to be said, but stay tuned, and as always, let the adventure begin. Move ahead, oh my pretty babe, something ain't right, got to find a way to move ahead, oh my pretty babe.